Welcome to Red Zone. Oh my goodness. I did not go through how the start was supposed to go. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I completely forgot. So, uh, welcome to the show where after the, after, after the Olympics, where the mic start <laughs> levers. <laughs> Why does, <laughs> I just realized why that kept happening. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I just, yeah, I was actually quite uh, confused what that was happening. All right. Um, well, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So welcome to the show, Red Zone. Uh, we're your hosts, Red and uh, Syrian. Uh, and uh, and we are gonna be talking about the 400 meter that we saw today. No, yesterday. Sorry, forgot. We're filming this today. Well, we're filming. Okay, <laughs> I'm so dumb. We're filming this during after the event, but tomorrow we're putting it up. All right. Great, yeah, great explanation. All right, so uh, yeah, 400 meter ash. Yep. Event. Very long event. A very long event. 29 minutes to be exact, I believe. 29 minutes and 51 seconds. I have it right here. I got the data right here. Impressive, impressive. Yeah, it's a very long race. A pretty nice finish in the end, I would say. What finish? or three finishes. The finish final, finish? The final, mate. Oh, the final, final. Don't really know what happened in the semi-finals, not gonna lie. The only thing I remember from the semi-finals, really, is how Beretti, in the second heat, I believe it was, he barely ran past um, Haldas, beating Haldas out to take the last call thing spot. That was pretty impressive by them. Beretti? You said, you're saying Beretti, right? Yeah, Beretti. And they got Beretti. some of his place in the, in the finals. So that's actually pretty yeah. good. Yeah, well, if they not not too good. qualified, then that's a good point. That's kind of what you expect. Yeah. They were very consistent in their... Uh, and their 400 times. So, yeah, something I didn't really like about the finals was that they were so separated. I didn't, I didn't like I, when we were recording. I didn't realize that Boomy and Arise were just like far gone. It wasn't, it wasn't that fun of a finish. You know what I mean? It was like we know that this guy's going first, this guy's going second, this guy's going third. The real race was fourth, which I'm actually kind of mad about you for not commentating that a bit better. It was Tilakana and. And okay, on yeah, they were going butt and butt, and then you weren't even saying anything about it. You're like, oh yeah, Tilakana got uh, fourth, and uh, okay, on got fifth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess I didn't even realize that that was going on because at that point I was just disappointed about the first three. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit. Yeah. All right, and should we start talk about? We usually start talking about how we made the event, and then we talk about what actually happened. We so let me talk about how. Me. Yeah. We never have a plan for this. So <laughs> We're getting better at it. Again. We're definitely getting better at it, though. So, um, making the event all hand built. Well, you, was... you made all of it. You yeah, made all of it. Yeah. Just yeah. Ran, so. yeah, yeah. And then Red edits all of it. You can explain all of that. I okay. Just... What did I do, actually? I did, like, nothing. You edit everything, my guy. What the hell? Are you crazy? Alright. So, it was basically. Yeah, I think it? It, was, all right, all it was straight hell. Um, everything was hand built because the curves. I don't know how to explain it, but it was all hand built and it was trash. It was terrible. You had to count to seven, go all the way around the track. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Never want to do that ever again. To, in order to translate what Sir Syrian was saying, because he was speaking some gibberish right there. Uh, for the first hundred meters, all the lanes are equal in elevation. But once you get to the first curve, the outside lane is longer, so its curve is being offset, so it's creating a bank pattern. And because of that, you cannot easily, you can't just use the clone command to build the track. So he had to build every lane individually after the first hundred. Yeah, it was the, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Eight hundred meters was so much easier. Just cloned everything, went around. This one was oh my. All right. So now we talked about that. We talked about that. Should we talk about? We talk about the finals basically. Should we talk about the like the final final standings of the last, past two games already, or do you still have something to talk about? Ah, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into that because at this uh, point, I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> yeah, no idea. So Gabi's sitting pretty with thirty-five points. Did you did you know this was happening when we were recording? 
I uh, had no idea. I yeah no had no clue. I love how our predictions <laughs> in the lead were completely yeah, different. Yeah, from what we saw, it was yeah not what we see here. Uh, Boomy in second place, another one that I was not expecting. Rongi well, third place. Talk, I did, I did. Wait, wait. Before we go there, I did say Boomy was looking like a top contender. That's true, but we weren't thinking that top kind of contender. Maybe we were. I don't know. Rongi in third place. That was sort of to be expected with us. From what we saw, um, Aris is they're up tied there. Tied with Aris. Yep, they're tied it with Aris. It is interesting to see how the top two both have a gold medal, and then the next two both have a silver medal. Kind of what we wanted from it, but it's very skewed right now since there's only two events. Yeah, you're right about that. That's kind of cool. Mare, Haldas, Okean, Tempesta, Himmel, Senu, Tilikana, Beretti, Sviet, Hawaiote, Nar. And not to Ron sitting in last place. Oh my. Oh man. I Ty wonder Ty who Nara. used to cheer for not to run. I don't know what you're talking about. I got a new one. I had a new one for quite a bit of time. Also, not sitting too pretty and haven't been doing pretty good from in our recordings. But yeah. Um, I guess we should talk about Tempesta. Finishing last in the 800 and now getting third. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Good finish there. Now it's sitting in eighth, moving up the standings. Yeah, one event, one good event can really boost you up. So I think in a future event, I'm like talking about how each point matters. And as you see here, the, the you gotta finish these each event as high as possible since there's only eight events. You really cannot sit in last place for every event and expect to win. I mean, no sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I was just sitting here. I wasn't even paying attention at a certain point. I was like, let's just... All right. Of course, if you finish last in every video, I think he deserves to be down there. All right. And I guess this was Red Zone. you have anything else to talk about? No, you don't. After that, after that, you're done. You're done. All right. <laughs> after what you just said, it's, it's okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, this is All Red right. Zone. Uh, we'll see you in two weeks on Monday. Monday. Yeah, for the Grazing Tower. All right. Yep, Grazing Tower. Cool. Thank you for watching.